it'll all be all right. So uh, my name is Leonor and I'm just going to set the picture of who I am by um, telling you about the Gallagher's of uh, Gurleville, okay? Uh, Gurleville was the name of a house uh, which is uh, behind uh, the Abercorn factory on the Dairy Road and that's where my uh, mother lived for a few years uh, while she was growing up. And she told me that the first Gallagher of Gurleville was Paul Gallagher and he was a manager of the Abercorn shirt factory on the same grounds as the factory there were 16 cottages as you most of you probably know uh, for the factory workers and a large house up on the hill called uh, Gurleville and Paul Gallagher bought the lot around the year 1900 and uh, Paul Gallagher was a widower with a son called Alfie and he remarried a young lady from Belfast called Margaret Egan and they had six children. Uh, one of those uh, children was Willie, my grandfather, who married Rose Bannigan, that was my uh, grandmother. Linen was the focus for the Industrial Revolution in the north of Ireland, with engineering, trade and infrastructure developed around the requirements of the industry. When uh, my mother uh, phoned uh, the, her family in Straban in 1969 to tell them that she'd met a Spaniard and that she was going to stay there and marry, uh, they had a general nervous breakdown. In 1809, somebody wrote a description of Straban in the Belfast Monthly magazine. I must speak of the inhabitants of Straban with respect and gratitude for their kindness and hospitality. On one occasion, uh, my father was traveling from Dublin to Straban on his own on the bus. So he went into Basaris and he asked, Excuse me, can I please have one ticket to Straban? And the person said, Sorry, Estraban. Sorry, Estraban. Sorry, Estraban. Sorry. Everything is all right now. Cause the sky is finally opened. The rain and wind stop blowing. But you're stuck out in the same old storm again. And actually, my grandparents met or first spotted each other on a train. So had trains not existed, uh, the Great Northern Ra Railway, um, I wouldn't have existed. Hmm. We were taught to fear the river for its dangers, for river holes that were hidden and secret, but dared each other to cross the old railway bridge that was rusted gaping and long disused. My father took me to travel on the last train out of Cyan Mills. After he died, I found he had kept the ticket stump and a photo shows my young father holding me at the window as it left the station, me plump in a knitted pixie hat. Um, so when my uh, father uh, came to meet the family, uh, he uh, borrowed uh, my grandfather's car, his future father-in-law, and took my mother on a day trip to Murloc. And on the way, well, they didn't actually make it because he was speeding, uh, possibly uh, looking at her legs, and they had an accident. And they ended up uh, under a tree in a smoldering car. And all of the locals came around to surround the car. And yes, the accident was something uh, unusual that had happened. But the most striking thing was this exotic couple. They were unhurt. The car was totaled. But where is he from? Oh, and you're from Gurleville. How are your parents? And you're getting married. Show us the ring. Show us the ring. So that was lovely. Uh, 
uh, walking into the town, um, holding my grandmother's hand, um, and going over the bridge end. Just the, 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 the there's a, 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 um, a sense in Strabane that I get every time I go over that bridge, and uh, I relive that moment, and um, I'll just never forget it. And I just love. Uh, going over uh, the the bridge end, it's it's full of significance uh, for me. And when I did go back to Straban, uh, my granny had passed, and the house had or was just about to be sold. And I said to my auntie, uh, "Granny showed me where she hid her money." So uh, we actually went and inspected the house for the last time before it was sold, just to make sure that there wasn't any money hidden there. And there wasn't. But I said to my aunts and uncles that had there been any money, I would have felt that granny had left it there for me. And they said, sure. <laughs> my grandparents, uh, Willie and Rose, uh, married in March 1939 in the Sacred Heart Chapel on the Derry Road in Straban, where they are now buried. So tie up the boat, take off your coat, and take a look around. Everything's all right now, cause the sky is finally opened. The rain and wind stop blowing, but you're stuck out in the same old storm again. Let go of your umbrella Cause darling I'm just trying to tell ya That there's always been a rainbow Hanging over your head Yes there's always been a rainbow Hanging over your head